sissy. And um, one day, it was just, uh, I'm going to cut it down a little bit, so I had a son that passed away, and that was pretty rough. But we kept it hard and held it together. And one day, I guess, my wife wanted to go her way, and that's okay. God bless her. I pray for her every day. But I have my children with me. And then um, my granddaughter, she landed on my lap. My daughter couldn't be a mother, and that's okay, because not everybody can be a mother. But I was, it, was, it was an honor. I was proud to be a grandfather and a father to this child. You know. So I did it on my own, just like a lot of you women do. I, 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 I can't believe, I'm, no lie, I look up more to you women, single mothers. It's unbelievable, because it's hard. It's, it's, it's very hard. And now I, I see the, the struggles and the hard, and, you know, the dedication of being a single mother and taking care of, you know, of children on your own. It's unbelievable. I appreciate it more. I do. And um, so I'm taking care of my children. I'm working. I was having struggles. I couldn't do it. My kids were failing in school. I was ready to lose my job. It was hard. It was real, real hard. One day, my son comes up to me. He goes, Dad, we got to do something. I was like, buddy, I'm thinking about everything, everything that I could try to do. Nothing will come to my mind. So my son goes to, my, to his school. Now, my son's not a cry. He's a strong boy and a proud boy. Excuse me. And um, he was in school. He went to his counselor. And this is how I know, because the counselor told me he got on one knee like he was going to propose. <laughs> I love this kid. <laughs> and he said, help us. We need to help. Help us. Now, I'm, I'm at work. I'm doing 13, 14, 15 hours a day just to support these children and try to be there for them by myself. Then I'm very proud of myself for doing that, too. <laughs> 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 and I'm at work, and I'm like, you know, please forgive me if anyone is a spirit joker. I am. And I'm looking up, I'm like, come on, man, give me a break, you know? Come on, to give me something. Give me, you know, give me some kind of light, you know, because I'm going through the storm by myself. Give me a light, give me a sun, give me something, please. You know, I was ready to give up, faith and all. It goes the phone. I answer it at work. They, it told, something told me that I don't answer my phone at work. Something told me to answer that phone. I picked up the phone. Dad, we're going to get help. Dad. I said, whoa, relax, kiddo. Everything's going to be okay. What's up? What's going on? Dad, we're going to get help. I said, what are you talking about? Talk to me, buddy. He goes, the YMCA is going to help us. I'm like, what? The YMCA is going to help us. I'm like, dude, listen. I'm broke. I just paid the rent. I paid the bills. Stop playing with me. You know, I can't afford this. No, Dad. They're going to help us. They're going to start a program for us. They're going to help Sky. I hung up that phone. I walked to the back. I got on my knees and I said, thank you, Jesus. He answered my prayers. It was nice. Ever since, ever since the YMCA has helped me, Life has been much easier. I've been working. I could be more there for my kids. The love that I get from them is unbelievable. My granddaughter is so protected and safe that I could, I could drop her. You can hear her now she's screaming right now. That's her. That's my Terminator. <laughs> she's so protected. All the love that I get from them is unbelievable. I thank you all. All the volunteers, all the supporters, I thank you. I bow to you. Thank you. It's unbelievable that, you know, you don't, there's so many hearts here. It's unbelievable. All the love, I can feel it. It's strong. It's beautiful. You know, I, I, I you, you know what's so funny? That <laughs> before all this happened, I used to be like, you know, this macho man. Like, what's up, man? What's going on here? Yeah. Now I go to Walmart, I'm like, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> and then I'll with the hat. 
And the guy comes by, yo, what's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> so that's how I knew I grew up. I didn't let this macho pride thing take over. You know? Sometimes you gotta let it go. You gotta go with the flow. You gotta go wherever it takes you. Right, baby? That's my that's my daughter Cass Heath. Very proud. And if um, my daughter don't mind getting up and getting my Terminator, because I would like to show you what the YMCA has helped. Basically, the supporters and the volunteers, you guys have adopted this child, not just me. So I'm going to show you right now what I'm so in love with every day, every morning I wake up. It's something special. And I want to share this with you. And I'm glad that I'm here sharing this with you today. So I'm hoping that she walks to the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here she comes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sky Ortiz. <laughs> That's my son, Jerry Ortiz. My rock. <laughs> my best friend. Right, buddy? We've been doing this in our home for a while until we got help. And now we're doing better thanks to you guys. And I, I, <laughs> and I appreciate everything you've done. My, my, my heart goes to you. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much for everything. My name is Gerardo Morales Ortiz, and that's my testimony. Thank you.